Now, Rick Perry has made some mistakes uh, so far, partly because he was stammering and uh, giving incoherent answers in the debates, but the much larger problem was that in the debates, at times, he made the mistake of showing some compassion, which is about the worst thing you could do in a Republican debate. It's Pert great. I mean, he is literally being vilified for the two moments in the debate when I think reasonable Americans were like, well, I agree with him on that. Yeah. yeah. Well, that seems yeah. like a reasonable Yeah, he thing. seems harsh on everything yeah. else, but that yeah. was semi-reasonable. Yeah. So one of that was on immigration when he said, look, you know, if these guys, if the kids who had nothing to do with the decision to come here have earned their way into a school and we just Earned let their them, way into school by doing well in high school. Right. Going to high school, doing well. And, and they've lived in America their whole lives, et cetera, and then, now we're going to help them get an education to be productive members of society. It's a little heartless we're not giving, by say. the way, they're not giving them any extra benefit. They are right. just giving them the exact same benefit that everybody else in Texas gets. Right, if you don't do that, he said it's a little heartless. So of course, Republicans jumped all over him. They're like, how dare you? So what happens? He's got a backpedal. So here he is talking to Newsmax, with the fun, dude with the funny mustache. And listen, like, and a and voice. Look. Yeah, so let's watch this funny back. Uh. You say this about those who oppose giving in-state tuition to the children of illegal aliens. I don't think you have a heart. Can you explain why you believe so strongly in this? Well, I probably chose a poor word to uh, explain that. For people who don't want their state uh, to be giving uh, tuition to illegal uh, aliens, uh, illegal immigrants in this country, that's their call, and I respect that. And, and I was, um, you know, I, I was probably a bit uh, overpassionate by using that word, and it was inappropriate. Yeah, it's good thinking because what he's doing now is taking the Mitt Romney tact mm -hmm. of sort of running from who you are. Right. Pretending you're somebody else. Uh, n none of these guys just figure, man, look, be who you are. You might not win. It's hard to win. But be who you are. So a couple of things there. Like it's an opportunity to lead, and he won't do it. No, because the, the primary voters are vicious. Yeah, that's and their way of thinking. I, I, you're right, of course. I don't, I don't believe that if you handle it and answer it differently, yeah, you say to them, hey, look, man, you want a leader? We're going to disagree on some things. So these people have been in the state a long time, and I'm giving them the same benefit. I understand you disagree with me. I respect you for disagreeing with you. I stick by it. I think I got the right point. Right, and it's nowhere near right. as bad a decision as your mustache. So right, totally. we move on. Right? Uh, you, say, <laughs> you say this to the people who disagree with you. Regard <laughs> <laughs> that guy's my favorite broad uh, broadcaster in the country. Uh, you say this. <laughs> We've covered that guy like seven <laughs> times. He's, it's not the 1970s anymore. He doesn't get it. Anyway, so... The, and understand the politics behind it. Why is Rick Perry soft on immigration? It's because he's in Texas where there is an enormous Latino population. They're nearly the majority now. So that's why he has it's, that record. But now that he's running a national election, of course he wants to backpedal away from that. It's not even a political calculation by Perry to, to make these. It's, it's, it's the political reality. I mean, there's no like, I need to soften my stance regarding Latinos in order to win in Texas. You wouldn't even get started in Texas. Right. And if you remember, that's why George Bush was actually not bad on immigration. He's the one that did immigration reform that the Republicans revolted over and didn't want to do the pathway to citizenship. So, and also governor of Texas. So it's an interesting phenomenon. Rick Perry also knows, Cenk, that if you're going to succeed in Texas, it's not just that you need Latinos, but you need the Jews. That is definitely true. That is why Rick Perry, uh, last year, uh, decided to do an interesting Hanukkah celebration. They're going to light the candle. And you know what? They're going to have Do you some... even know what Hanukkah is? <laughs> I think I do. They're going to light the candle here. Um, and look, as they're doing it, they decide to have some fun. Makes sense. Let's mm -hmm, watch. Sure. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no.